Hi, this is Julie from Traveling Julie Photography, and this is my introduction to using Picasa for organizing your photos. So this is where you download the, um, the application, download Picasa. The first thing though, before you do that, you need to make sure you have all of your pictures in folders, and I've done a previous video to um, help you figure out how to, how to do that um, and organize that. So uh, the next thing you'll do is download Picasa. Okay, so when you first download it, it's going to give you this um, window about where you want it to find uh, the pictures. So you can do a custom um, or you can do everything. So in this case, this is just a sample. I'm going to do my documents, my pictures, and desktop because that's where most will be. Okay, so it automatically imported all the pictures that it found. Um, and in case you want to do this manually, you just go to File add folder to Picasa and here you can see all your folder lists so if you have everything in your pictures you can open that up and then you can have um, each folder be uh, scanned only once removed from Picasa or scan always so like for this one don't need that in Picasa um, so I'll take that out um, and if you have anything like I don't have anything in my documents so I can take that off and some people have things on their desktop, so I'll keep that in there. Okay, so click OK. So everything's already loaded up in here. So remember that in our um, in our original um, folders, we had folders within here. Uh, so this is the 2014 year folder, and then I've got monthly folders inside there. And those same ones show up here. So if it detects a, a photo in the folder, it will just show up. So it tells you here's uh, sort of the master folder and then subfolders underneath there and how many images or items are in there. So there's 12 photos in the December 2014. So now you can see everything at a glance. You can just scroll up and down and find exactly what you're looking for. For example, if you know that a certain event was at a certain uh, month last year, you can go back and just click on that month and just scroll right through and find it. So then once you're in here, you can just scroll through the thumbnails. You can make the thumbnails smaller or larger. Here's kind of the default medium. You can also scroll down. You can use the mouse wheel. You can use the down arrow. Um, you can use the page down. You can use the space bar. And from here, you can just um, use the arrow keys. You can rotate them. And this is all before you even click into anything. You can mark something as a favorite from this view. You can delete from this view. Uh, be careful to note, though, that uh, this is a mirror, so if you delete something through Picasa, it will also delete it in the actual folder. So just be careful and make sure that the ones you want to delete in here are actually ones you really want to delete. So then um, to do even more, you can double click on the image and you can star or unstar from here. Um, you can use some of the tools that are over here. Um, personally, I, the only two I really use in here are the crop and straighten tools. Um, the retouching and um, editing or processing tools, I'm not really a fan of. Um, in Picasa, I use Lightroom or Photoshop for those. Um, so, But it's really handy to be able to crop quickly, straighten, um, and you can also add text. Uh, that's helpful for some things. And of course, you can um, arrow through um, in big view as well. So let's see, this one, I don't really care about this picture, so I'm just going to hit the delete button. I'm going to say delete image. Back to library. So the great thing about favorites is that um, it's a good way to filter. So let's, through, let's look through here. Here's a cute one. This is my baby Emmett. Um, so that's a good one in that series. Now I can sort of flip through this series and I can show you, I can look um, overall here and I can just see everything all together and say, well, that one's okay. I'll star that one. That one's 
Uh, actually, let's look at these two. Oh, that's better legs, so I'll click on that one. Okay, so if I go back to library view, now I can actually use, up here I can use the filters. So I can look for only photos that are favorited, only photos that have got faces with the face tagging on, only videos, or only geotagged photos. So if I do this, now instead of looking at all of my photos forever, I've just got the ones that I like especially, so I can favorite them and just um, go and do whatever I need to do with those with those photos from there. So this is where it's really helpful when you are going through your big pile of photos for a month or for an event um, and you just quickly favorite um, the ones that you like best and then you can use those ones to then take and move to another application um, to make a book or to make prints or to do whatever you'd like to do with those photos um, to sort of edit down, post to Facebook or whatever you'd like. And then I can just click that again and it goes back to full view. Um, so one thing that we want to do here is we want to add a few more buttons down here. So to come up here to tools and click on configure buttons. So if you want to add in the geotagging you can do that here. Um, you can order prints directly. This is the collage button is the one that I like. So I'm going to add that in and that's now added down here in that toolbar. So um, this is a really easy way to make collages with multiple images or just a diptych with two photos. So I'm just going to click on two photos, that one, hold down the control key, click on that one, and now I can hit collage. So the grid, um, the grid is what I use a lot. So you can do either way, okay, and then I can hit create collage. That's now in its own collage folder, so I can copy, paste that into the correct folder. Again, this is a mirror, so this is creating the actual, um, or copying the photo into that real folder, not just in Picasso. Um, I use this a lot for my Project Life albums. If I have two vertical photos, um, it's easier to print two vertical photos onto one 4 by 6 photo. So I, um, I use that grid option in the collage button to uh, to create two photos together that I can just really easily print in one 4x6. So that's it. That's my video on using Picasa to manage and organize your photos. There will be more videos soon um, with information on Picasa and Google, Vid and Google Photos, so stay in touch. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks!